in person for the first time the all new, fully battery electric vehicle, the 2023 Lexus RZ450E. So this right here is the Lexus Electrified Vision in action. We didn't just build any BEV, we made it a Lexus BEV. And RZ integrates the Lexus driving signature and the all new Direct 4 technology. By freely distributing the drive force of the front and rear motors according to the vertical load, RZ is able to respond in a quick, linear and precise manner based on the driver's input. This allows the driver to feel confident under any driving situation, achieving an intuitive experience where the vehicle feels like a, a natural extension to your, to your body, to the driver. We wanted to create a uniquely Lexus BEV that feels secure to ride in and exhilarating to drive. And so what? Did you think that I wasn't going to talk about this? Listen, Sato San and Vinay mentioned the importance of Lexus driving signature in our strategy. And nothing exemplifies our commitment to the Lexus driving signature more than the steer-by-wire system. It provides a high-level driving experience that combines the responsiveness of a BEV with a linear and direct driving feel. Now, steer-by-wire limits the range of motion to 300 degrees, while still providing enough steering input for a driver to easily maneuver the RZ. We want people to know that electrified vehicles are not just fun to drive off the line, they can also provide an engaging driving experience on a backcountry road. And our early feedback has been amazing, and we're excited for you to drive it later this year. Now, moving to the interior, it's a driver-focused, open, and relaxing space, featuring an available panorama uh, um, roof, a first for Lexus, and a radiant heating system. RZ also comes with the latest Lexus safety system, and of course, standard with a Lexus interface and a 14-inch touchscreen display. Folks, this is just the beginning of a Lexus Electrified. We can't wait to show you what we have up our sleeves in the next couple of years. And will be available at US dealerships by the end of this year.